Well, a local eight-year-old already trying to make the world a better place as she prepares to write her own book. Katrina Kincaid is here with more on this young entrepreneur hoping to make a difference, Katrina. Liam and Kate Isaac McFadden from Hyde Park told us that right now she's just having fun starting her pillow company that aims to inspire other children, but knows as she gets older, she'll understand the impact that this journey has had on her life. What were you doing at age eight? Having like something like a whole a full on business is it's life changing. Probably not building a pillow empire like Isis McFadden. I wanted to start the business because I wanted kids like me, kids like me and kids and kids of color and just kids in general to feel welcomed and like where they are is where they're meant to be. At age five, she attended her first protest and told her parents she wanted to write a book about her experience. Oh. She felt like royalty, which started the company Little Regalia. It felt like I was doing something that was going to benefit the world. Saying it's just showing enough to go to the, you know, her first protest, uh, 2020, there's a lot happening, a lot of questions that she had. Um, and we said, you know, let's, let's, let's go. The book is still being written, but based on their doodles, the McFaddens wanted to make something that kids could have to believe in and inspire themselves. Maybe easier to see yourself in the pillow with no facial features. I hope they have fun with the pillows. I hope they get to do a bunch of things with the pillows. But most importantly to me, I hope the they can actually like see themselves in the pillows. Their home is currently the distribution center. The pillows are sold online and in two Boston bookstores. At one, they're almost sold out. Makes me feel like what I did really benefited people, more people than just me. Yeah. Hearing that they're almost all sold out, it's exciting. Because you never know who needs it. You never know. I think it's one thing that we know is that it's bigger than us. Now, Isis told us that she always hoped to get her pillows in a store, but was still shocked when she saw them in More Than Words bookstore for the first time. Her next goal is to be able to sell enough that she can donate some to local community centers. Katrina Kincaid, WBZ News.